Chetan Sharma and welcome to my YouTube channel. So friends, in today's episode, I'm going to discuss with you that how the X-rays and the MRI works. I think all of you know about uh, that X-rays that we have to perform X-ray test when we have suffered from any bone fracture or MRI if someone suffering from brain tumor or any that type of cancer problem. So today I'm going to show you the basic principle behind that X-rays and the MRIs. Uh, first of all, these both are the different from each other. X-ray is different and MRI is the different. So let us first talk about the X-rays because it is a uh, pretty simple to understand. So as we know that I think you all of you heard about uh, IR rays, UV rays uh, that come from the sun or uh, even UV and IR uh, rays are used in some of the electronic equipment too. So what is the basic principle behind the X-rays is whenever the we go to the that uh, laboratory to do that X-ray test there is a machine which ejects the electrons I think you know about electrons uh, that atom is consist of electron proton and neutrons uh, so basically it ejects electrons that electrons we call X-ray photons so when that X-ray photons strike on our body part let me say this is my hand and it got a fracture or I simply want to take the X-ray of my this hand now what will happen there is a black sheet which is called a fluorescent sheet which is placed behind the, on which that x-ray uh, projection image projection comes so if this is my hand when the x-ray will come these x-rays can easily pass through muscles tissues and other soft body parts but it cannot pass through the bones so whenever that x-ray comes it pass through that all of my muscles but it cannot pass through the my bones so on at the back I will get the projection of only of my bones because the x-rays cannot pass through them but uh, they, uh, that can be easily passed through the my uh, muscles and tissues. So that projection will be obtained on a fluorescent sheet which uh, you can obtain on which data pattern is formed of your bones. So this is x-ray. I hope uh, it is easy to understand. Uh, so next we will move to the MRI. Now the full form of a marrow uh, that MRI is magnetic resonance imaging it is also called nmri that means nuclear magnet uh, magnetic resonance imaging yes uh, so what is happening in that it is basically functioning on a magnetic field uh, let me give you a simple example suppose you have two magnets uh, let us assume the i have these two pens these are two different magnets when you bring these two magnets together we know that they either they attract each other or they repel each other depending upon the uh, type of poles which are together or which are away from them each of them okay so the uh, basic principle of mri is based upon that uh, these uh, what we say that uh, magnetic field as our body is 90 uh, sorry 70 uh, percent is made up of water i think you know that our body is made up of 70 percent of water so what will happen uh, when we uh, uh, when the patient comes to that MRI scanner, uh, that MRI consists of a uh, magnets. Yes, in that there is a whole uh, huge magnets in that MRI machine is there. When the patient go inside it, that magnets get on. When that magnets get on, that mm, the magnetic field in our body, that magnetic field is due to the hydrogen atoms which are present in water molecules. As we know, 70% of our body is made up of water. Uh, they interact with that magnetic field which is due to the uh, hydrogen atoms present in our body so in that hydrogen atoms uh, we use the nuclear spin world that nuclear spin let me say these are the different hydrogen atoms they are aligned here and there so they are just uh, uh, in any random direction when the uh, patient goes to the MRI machine that uh, magnetic field of the MRI machine turns on that and our that uh, nuclei of hydrogen atoms uh, with interact with that magnetic field and they get straightened up. Yes, they get straightened up. Then that MRI machine send a radio wave signal. Yes. That radio wave signal shift that uh, our these uh, nuclei to 90 degrees. They may be in any direction. Let me say this turn in 90 direction. This will turn in direction in 90 uh, degree direction. And when that uh, radio frequency turns off then these uh, start coming into the back to normal direction but at the different rates now due to this different rates uh, the different rate at which they come back uh, 
this will generate a signal which will send to uh, the receiver and that receiver uh, do some mathematical calculation and turns that of the, the calculation uh, into the image they convert these calculation into image which we obtain on the screen as a MRI which MRI used to detect the brain tumors cancer and etc so basically MRI based upon a magnetic field and x-ray is simply works on a x-ray that uh, ejected from a uh, that x-ray emitting machine so i hope friend do you like this video and enjoy this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and sorry for the if you hear any of the background noises uh, soon i am going to upgrade my setup when i get enough of the views so that's it friends thanks for watching have a good day and if you want to see any of the video uh, on any topic you can just uh, name that video name the topic in the comment box so i can make a video on that topic so that's it thanks for watching have a good day